John Carlo is a local rider here who is a Cat 1 cyclist, very accomplished rider, knows how to train, knows how to look at data and is very up to date with regard to postures and trying to make this position fast. I'm Ivan O'Gorman, I'm a bike fitter based here in Boulder, Colorado. Today we're using the Leomo Type R. The great thing about the Type R is it's an IMU based technology which is, allows us to test different positions with riders out on the road and look at the motion metrics in real time. We're going to look at two test positions, Giancarlo's current position and then we're going to move to a more aggressive position where we're going to set the arm pad at 30 mils lower. Today we're focusing on four key metrics, pelvic rock, pelvic angle, power and average speed for each trial. We want to ensure that the rider can maintain power in the more aggressive position, has good quality of movement, can hold posture and that the position is sustainable. What I found interesting was upright at first, felt a little bit more comfortable, but I was definitely able to hold the power in the second position just as well as uh, the first. But with regards to racing, it, it really boils down to which one's faster. So, so I'm a little curious what the data is gonna show once we, uh, we analyze it. So when we're looking at trials like this, you're looking at a pretty significant positional change of 30 mils, and you're really intrigued to know, is there a separation in the motion data? So we're using the Leomo dashboard. Uh, this uh, will capture everything you need to look at. The rider did an excellent job maintaining consistent power. The motion metrics have a tight correlation, and we can clearly see the more aggressive position has a faster average speed. I think what we were looking at for a takeaway with regard to today's trials was to look at what the impact of the more aggressive position would, would be to the rider's sense of feel, to the rider's sense of perceived effort, and also to the motion metrics. The outcome was that those motion metrics for both trials were very tight. And the arrows are pointing towards the more aggressive position being the faster position. And the rider is of the opinion that he can ride that position without any major stress compared to the conservative position. So that's the avenue that we're going to explore. Yeah.